Let Garmin assist getting you started with your Garmin Drive 53 and Traffic Navigator. Your Garmin Drive 53 device will come with a vehicle suction cup mount, vehicle power cable with traffic antenna, and USB cable. Let's begin by going over the Garmin Drive 53 device hardware. The power button is located in the upper right-hand corner on the back of the device and is indicated by the power symbol. This is used for powering the device on and off. On the bottom of the device is the USB port, which is used for connecting to a power outlet in the vehicle with the included vehicle power cable. This port is also used for connecting to a computer or AC adapter. Your micro SD card can be inserted into the slot on the bottom of the device. Using a micro SD card will provide additional storage space for maps and other data. The Garmin Drive 53 supports a micro SD card between 4 GB and 256 GB. Now that we have covered the hardware basics, let's go over mounting and powering the device. Determine where you would like to mount the device on the windshield. Clean the area with rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth. It is your responsibility to ensure the mounting location complies with all applicable laws and ordinances and does not block your view of the road during the safe operation of your vehicle. Press the suction cup to the windshield and flip the lever back to the windshield to secure it. Then press the mount onto the suction cup ball until it snaps into place. Next, plug the vehicle power cable into the USB port on the device. Then plug the other end of the vehicle power cable into a power outlet in your vehicle. This cable is required for your device to receive traffic information. Fit the tab on the top of the mount into the slot on the back of the device. Press the bottom of the mount into the device until it clicks. We are now ready to begin the initial setup of the device. Choose your locale and select OK. Then choose a language and select OK. Read and accept the end user license agreement. Read and agree to the warning. The initial setup has now been completed. If necessary, go to an open area with a clear view of the sky to acquire satellite GPS signals. For the best navigation experience, you should keep the maps and software on your device up to date. Map updates provide the newest available changes to roads and locations in the maps used by your device. Keeping maps up to date helps your device find recently added locations and calculate more accurate routes. You can use the Garmin Express application to download and install the latest map and software updates for your device. Check out our map update videos, linked in this video, for instructions to update your maps and software with Garmin Express. Lastly, let's find a location on your Garmin Drive 53. The maps loaded in your device contain locations such as restaurants, hotels, auto services, and detailed street information. The Where To menu helps you find your destination by providing several methods to browse, search, and save this information. You can use the search bar to search for locations by entering a category, brand name, address, or city name. In this video, we will search for an address. Then, select Go to begin navigation. You will be given the option to save travel history. Select either yes or no. Your device will start calculating a route and begin speaking directions. In one quarter mile, turn right on Alton Road. Check out our video on finding, saving, and deleting addresses, linked in this video, for more help with finding locations. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.